Okay, I am now joined by Dr. Mukul Sangma, former Meghalaya Chief Minister and Congress Legislative Party leader. Uh, Dr. Mukul Sangma, welcome to Notice Live. What are your thoughts on the week-long unrest in Shillong? And as a seasoned administrator, where do you think that the government of the day has gone wrong? You see, I have said uh, that uh, it's a question of understanding the complexity of a problem. Whenever there is a problem, one has to understand, you know, the overall background of a problem and the complexity associated with it to resolve them. Now, a bankruptcy of idea and, in other words, uh, the competence is an issue here. Therefore, they have messed up everything. A situation which could have been very well handled yeah. have gone out of way and they have messed up the whole situation. And I'm deeply hard to see that along with this, what has happened is that the whole reputation of the state has gone to the docks, you know, which we have, uh, you know, with uh, hard work, with the uh, whole collective endeavor of the people, the civil society, the stakeholders have built over the years. You are aware of the fact that Meghalaya had, uh, you know, gone through uh, all kinds of challenges in the preceding years. And uh, there has been a lot of collective endeavor from all concerned, all the stakeholders, with the whole uh, initiative of the government right. to restore peace in the state. No. and also sustain peace. And uh, this kind of situation have not been heard in last preceding years. So the whole effort that has gone over the years to position the state of Meghalaya hmm, as uh, one of the most talked about state yeah. and also one of the uh, top uh, you know, emerging new destination, they have gone uh, for a toast. And that uh, right. obviously has dislocated no. the whole economic activities now, of the people, the whole now, momentum of growth that we have generated in the now, district. Now, Dr. Sangma, the Chief Minister, Mr. Conrad Sangma, has said that the agitation is funded. Now, do you think he's pointing or he's trying to point an accusing finger at the opposition in the state? It's, it's the responsibility of the government to find out what is happening. And if there are any other forces acting to vitiate the environment or other to add fuel on fire. Rather, what I am seeing is that they are further mishandling this whole situation. And uh, I can see that uh, too many interference is coming from too many players. I have just gone through the media reports that some uh, representatives coming from Delhi and somewhere else, some panel of minority commission coming and yeah. having their own view. So this is something which they have to avoid. They have to avoid because what they speak, and the, 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 the resultant outcome, you know, the reaction, what will be uh, the reaction? All these things have to be very uh, well understood and therefore create an enabling environment that people don't just come and start giving their own opinions and vitiate the environment and further add fuel on fire. Right. Now, when the I chief... will advise the chief minister to advise all the... I will advise the chief minister to ensure that Nobody from outside the state is allowed to come and give their own opinions on the situation. Rather, take all the stakeholders from the state right. huh, and take them on board, take them into confidence and find a collective endeavor and effort which should come in you know, from all concern right. huh, to ultimately restore peace. Now, now, when Mr. Conrad Sangma is saying that the agitation is funded, alcohol is given, uh, now, do you think he is somewhere trying to point an accusing finger at the opposition parties? It is completely his immaturity, because what I am told is that most of these uh, people who are involved in this uh, expressing, demonstrating their agitated mind hmm, also involve women. Do you think that women are drinking there? How immature is this? Some preceding that also I have handled home and I have also had the privilege of uh, occupying number of uh, responsible positions in the government. We don't talk everything to the public, you know, whatever inputs come, you know, through the whole intelligence network that the state is privileged to have, you know, you utilize them to somehow look at, okay, then what are the measures thereof to handle them? And there's a provision of law. If there is somebody who is doing anything to further aggravate the situation, why can't they go after them? They right. should take on them, take head on, and then ensure that they're exposed. Yeah, that is no, how it is. No, Talking doctor, is not going to help. No. You know, it is an action which is required, which is supposed to restore, restore peace. 
Right, right. Uh, now, at Dr. Mukul Sangma... What is most important thing the, is to take everybody into confidence and right, rest our peace. Right. Now, the demand for sifting the sweeper colony, Dr. Mukul Sangma, has been there for long. Some would say that your government did not act on this demand and kept the issue alive. That is what if some people are saying. What is your response? You have to revisit the past, okay? And when you revisit the past and then understand, you know, the various contentious issues before the state, before the people of the state, hmm, what were those uh, challenging circumstances, issues which were confronting the people and the, confronting the state? You know, just this, not long ago, you know, what was the stories, main headlines in the state of Meghalaya? The stories were kidnapping, extortion, murder, you know, the whole activity of dreaded terrorist organizations, the ban outfits, mushrooming of terrorist organizations, mushrooming of militant outfits, peace was evading the state. And also subsequently, you know, the issue of ILP and the associated agitation thereof. Right. We still have a number of issues pending before us. We have the interstate boundary issue with Assam, with our counterpart, to resolve the issues pertaining to the areas of uh, difference with our counterpart. We also have these numerous issues, you know. It's not that these issues can be resolved overnight. But at the same time, what has the government done in the preceding years? Where, True. Which were those priorities before the government? That was the prerogative of the government to also decide which were the prerogative and which were the priorities and which were the most challenging, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, issues which needed urgent resolution. Right. Now, Dr. Mukul Sangma, the Congress in Meghalaya has emerged as the single largest party after the emphatic victory in Ampati. Now, are you planning to stake claim to form a government? Are you trying to move the courts? What is going to be your next move? I think you are quite acclimatized to the politics of Meghalaya. You have seen what has happened in the past. Uh, and uh, whenever we talk about, you know, forming government, toppling government, I don't think uh, uh, it is my style to put the cards on the table. I will put all the cards close to my chest. Wow, that is that, that is a very interesting. You have put this big suspense, uh, Dr. Mukul Sangma. You will put the cards, you are holding the cards close to your chest. That's quite a suspense. That's true. That's how we play politics. We don't say what we do, but we do what we want to do. So you are giving an indication that some of the alliance partners could be even in touch with you. That is what uh, people might even think. You will not get any further thing from me because I'm keeping the cards close to my chest. I know, I know. Fair enough. Fair enough. But do you think uh, the people of Meghalaya would appreciate any move by the Congress or others to actually form, uh, topple the government at this stage? See, as politicians, what is very important thing is that we must remain connected to the perception of the people, the yeah. sentiments of the people, and that is what we do, and that is how we further, uh, you know, determine our action. Right. My, my, my last question to you, Dr. Mukul Sangma, my last question to you, what is the way forward according to you to get out of this current mess, the Silong unrest, because Meghalaya was emerging as one of the top tourist destinations in the country. I agree with you. You know, Meghalaya has been already attracting the attention of not just uh, domestic clientele in the uh, tourism sector, but it has been already attracting clientele from abroad, from across the nation, across the international border. And it has not just been uh, a benefit confined to Meghalaya. You see how many uh, taxi uh, uh, owners are benefiting from Assam. And you look at the flight, how flights are actually uh, loaded with the passenger who have identified Meghalaya as a destination. So it's a loss. It's a loss. Therefore, it's important for us to restore the reputation of the state. Irrespective of what has happened because of this, I would like to... Uh, take pride in the fact that Meghalaya is capable of uh, um, overcoming these kind of challenges and the strength lies with the people. That's why I'm telling the Chief Minister and all those friends in the authorities that trust our own people, take them into confidence, take them on board and find out ways and means and to come over, you know, uh, overcome this whole challenge that usually is confronted by, by any government. So Absolutely. it's a question of understanding the complexities and the measures thereof that is required to be taken. Right. I, I appeal to all concerned, all, all my beloved people of the state, 
uh, to come together collectively and uh, ensure that okay, the, the name and fame of Meghalaya uh, as an island of peace is uh, the story right. that emanates from here Absolutely. and reaches every nook and corner across the globe. Absolutely. Understand yeah. the complexities and trust your own people. That's the call of the former Meghalaya Chief Minister, Dr. Mukul Sangma. Dr. Mukul Sangma, thank you very much indeed for speaking to Northeast Live.